Welcome back to That Dad Guy. It's June 23rd, 2024, and today I've got a little post-crossing to do. I actually have eight cards that I can send out, so things are still traveling. Um, last week, I think I received seven in the mail. I'm over 700 now, both sent and received, so it's taken along really well. It's been a little over three and a half years, almost, since I started post-crossing, and still loving every minute, 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 minute minute of it there we get a little tongue-tied um yeah it, it's great to go out to the mailbox and see what's shown up and where it's coming from and who potentially is writing it uh, i've met a ton of new friends and uh yeah I, I am calling them friends because they tune in they send uh messages either through youtube i get uh instagram messages and um yeah, we have a lot in common with people around the world. And the thing that connected us was sending these postcards and collecting the stamps and tuning into YouTube. So thank you so much for all of uh, my new friends that are out there and ones now that I've had for over three and a half years. So it's been a real pleasure. If you're finding this channel for the first time and maybe learning about post-crossing for the first time, make sure you like, you subscribe, you leave positive comments, you share with other people, and you put the notification bell on so you don't miss out on any of the videos. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Let's see where these cards are flying off to and what cards I selected. And then at the end, let's decorate one of them. All right, the first card I have is going off to a gentleman in Germany. Uh, he says, first above all, stop the war in Ukraine, peace for Europe. Agree 1000%. Hi from Germany. I love postcards. I started collecting them at the age of eight, so I was surprised to find this website. So he's another person that found Postcrossing. It is a wonderful idea to connect people around the world in this way. I collect all types of cards, but especially maps and bird's eye views of towns and regions, town halls, lighthouses, and sports places, but all cards will be fine. I have some 54,000 cards in my collection from many places around the world, and I hope that you can help me get a view card from other countries or places. So thank you for your card. So let me write a list of the most welcome cards, lighthouses, castles, city halls, town halls, maps, sports stadiums, bird's eye view, cruise liners, city views, and night views. And if you have a wish of a German card, I have lots in trade stock, so please write, and he gives his address. P.S. I love all Christmas markets from around the world, so if you visited one, please send me such a card. And if you find a Santa card, I'd love to get one too. I thought about sending a uh, Christmas card, but he's collecting map cards. Does he have a map card from the province of New Brunswick in Canada? I know he's got 54,000 cards. It's possible that in all the time he has uh, received a card from New Brunswick. And it might have been a map card, but I'm betting he has it. And this one has... Things like lighthouses on it, and uh, animals, and flags, and yeah, so a bunch of different things on it. So hopefully it will be new to his collection of 54,000. All right, the next card didn't give me quite as much detail. It's going off to a gentleman in, no, it's actually going off to a lady, excuse me, uh, in Italy, in Rome. And that's all I know. There's no description. There's no nothing else. It's just the address. And I even went back to check to make sure I checked off the right boxes to see that I had everything else. Um, so I'm going to send this card, Explore St. Andrews, New Brunswick. It is a quaint little town here in New Brunswick. You can go whale watching. Um, they have a beautiful hotel. They've got a nice golf course. They have little shops. Uh, if you want to, if you want to get some ice cream along the, uh, uh, the waterfront, they have little spots for that. Nice cafes. Um, it's about, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes from here in uh, Moncton. And it's just a nice little spot to go. So I didn't have any other details. So let's just promote the province a little bit like I like to do. All right. The next card is going off to the state of Virginia in the United States. It says I, uh, She says, I love to travel, read, and take pictures. I currently live in the state of Virginia on the East Coast on the Atlantic Ocean with my husband and my minimal, mini animal farm. She has two hairless cats, two baby Yorkies, one mini Australian Shepherd, one Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, and one Labradoodle. That's a lot of animals. I love reading, being outdoors, listening to live music, and attending sports events. I spend lots of time in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, with our Amish friends on their fifth generation dairy farm. Favorite postcards I love to receive are good night stories from rebel girls, libraries, British royal family, coffee, coffee cups, teacups, peanuts gang, Snoopy, Lucy, Charlie Brown, etc., uh, New York City Central Park, National Parks, dogs, cats, cows, vintage clothing, vintage clocks, vintage cameras, 
rowboats, pictures of books, authors and people reading, the Amish, Monet's artwork, Van Gogh's artwork, uh, Mary Cassette's artwork, um, street art, that's the one I should have picked, I'm looking back at the street art, mountains, valleys, humorous cards, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, sunflowers, water lilies, poppies, fields of wildflowers, vintage holiday postcards, landmarks from your country. If none of these, I'll be delighted to receive anything you send. So I went with this one. So she said vintage, vintage, vintage several times. And then she landed on vintage um, holiday postcards. This one here, this is a vintage postcard from Sudbury, Ontario. This is the big nickel that uh, actually was produced in 1951. So if you're out collecting coins, this is a Canadian coin that was out there. It's 30 feet in diameter and 24 inches thick. I actually got to see it on a family vacation. Uh, my parents and I traveled across Canada and well, we went as far as Alberta. We didn't go all the way across and we didn't start in Newfoundland. So we went from Moncton, New Brunswick to uh, the British or the um, Alberta Rockies. And along the way, we stopped in Sudbury, Ontario, and we saw the big nickel in person. So when she said vintage uh, holiday postcard, this is the one that jumped to mind. I just received this last Father's Day. Uh, we went into the Pink Church, which I'm hoping to do a video in the future on. And uh, she had a whole bunch of vintage cards. And this is one of the ones that my wife actually found for me. So uh, I got that. And now it's going back out into the world. So I'm doing what postcards should do. It should travel. It shouldn't sit in a box somewhere, when at least when it's blank. When it's filled out, you can collect it. All right, the uh, last, well, not the last one, but the next one is going to Germany. And she says, hello, my dears. And her name is, and I live in a small artist village near Bremen. I'm a nurse. I work in the neurological and early rehabilitation and stroke unit. I really like it there. And I want to grow old there. I like to take time for my hobbies and all the lovely people in my life. I'm happy about every card that lands in my mailbox. I don't have any collecting areas, but I like the Beatles. Me too. Uh, Buddha maxi cards stamped from the front. If you write in German, I would be very happy. I won't be writing in German. I would be very happy if you sent the card not to me, but to my grandpa, Hans Nav. He is 91 years old and grateful for distractions. The address remains the same. I'll forward it to grandpa. Doesn't have any collecting areas either, but he loves the mountains, flowers, and is always up for a joke. Well, she said Beatles. I love the Beatles. She says she works uh, around seniors. She also uh, has a, an elderly father like myself. And uh, this had to be the card to go to them. Beatles versus Stones in a senior's dwelling. Um, it is certainly a hot topic. Which is the better band? The Beatles or the Rolling Stones? I'm in Camp Beatles, but I do appreciate the longevity of the Rolling Stones and uh, some of the songs that they've put out too. But let's go Beatles. So I think this one's perfect for her. And hopefully she gets a kick out of it. She loves a good joke. She can even share that with her grandfather. I think I said father and she has to go to her grandfather. So we have a similar, <laughs> her grandfather and my father are the same age. So I'm not sure how old she is. All right. The next one is going off to California in the United States. And it's actually, she says she's new to post crossing. Nice to meet you. She's 23 and she speaks both English and Spanish. The likes and interests are Harry Potter, Sanrio, journaling, letter writing, celestial themes like the sun, the moon, the stars, telescopes, etc., tarot cards, anything cute in general, the color pink, uh, chrysanthemums, which is her birth flower, gothic churches. I would also love to see things or places in your native homeland, though I'd be gladly accept any card. I'd also really enjoy it if you include your name of your favorite song or movie with it. Thank you for reading, and I hope to hear from you soon. Well, you will be hearing from me soon. And uh, we're going with this. This is Chance Harbor, Nova Scotia. And uh, you want a card that is representative of here in the East Coast, um, where she's in the West Coast. I think this is kind of cool. She's also in a place that does a really big concert. Um, so I'd be kind of curious to hear back from her, how uh, if she goes to these concerts and uh, if it, it affects her town at all when they happen. All right, the uh, next card is going to the Netherlands. And uh, she lives in a uh, fairly big town in the southern part of the Netherlands. I live with my lovely boyfriend for over 22 years in a terraced house. No kids, just the two of us and our spiteful budgie. I like that line. 
Uh, I love to send and receive postcards. They're like little presents that come through the letterbox. How wonderful. So let's get that letterbox rattling. I don't have a specific preference, really. I'm just very curious what you will send me. When would... Uh, when you walk into my house, you'll immediately see a huge bookcase full of all sorts of books. I read lots, and I love it. All kinds of genres, really. If you have any recommendations, please let me know. I love going on holidays. Favorites are England, Scotland, Wales, and Ireland, and Greece. The food and the sun and the nice people. The island of Guernsey stole our hearts, though. We've been there a couple times now. Five, six, who's counting? What else do I love besides reading and traveling? Just a quick sum up. Read, travel. Uh, Belgian beers, ports, wines, cheese, Christmas, birthdays, hanging with friends, stories, hugs, sunshine, nature, animals, movies, ice hockey. Our team is the Tilburg Trappers, plays in the German uh, Oberleague. Uh, I, uh, warm fires, swimming, cycling, just enjoying life, really. So that's a bit of me. There's a lot more I could write. I'll try to keep up to date. Maybe I'll tell you my latest reads or travels. Two weeks of sunny Greece on the island of Lesbos. Uh, quite, quite excited for an upcoming wine tasting festival here in our hometown, and even thought I've only just returned from holiday in Greece, already looking forward to my next holiday, probably September, still unknown to where. Thanks for reading, thank you for your card, take care, and best wishes. And then uh, she gives a list of the last uh, books that she's read, and uh, Le Petit Prince is one of them, so I have read that one. Uh, the other ones, uh, maybe not so much. All right, well... She said her favorite place to go is Guernsey, and I bought these postcards at an auction not that long ago, so I can just see her and her boyfriend walking down the streets, and what a better card to put. I mean, she's got English flags and uh, Great Britain up there. It seems to say all the things about places that she loved, so that one jumped out, and I said, that's got to go to her. I know it's nothing about Canada where I am, but sometimes you send cards for things that people like and that one jumped out and I had a perfect card. Okay, my next card is going to Malaysia. Um, he lives in Kuala Lumpur. He loves reading, traveling, learning about new things. He's passionate about mathematics, science, philosophy, nature, politics, religion, spirituality, technology, and society in a broad sense. People and ideas inspire me. I love conversations which rarely come by nowadays. I studied mathematics in college in northeastern United States. I wanted to be a math teacher, but somewhere along, I dropped the idea and chose a different career path. What to write? If you have no idea, tell me about yourself, your country, your region, or anything that recently happened in your country. Please share your favorite film, music, books. I might check them out. Write about anything you feel like writing about. I appreciate any postcard from any country. I mean that literally. I have no preference whatsoever. Even things that many people don't like, such as commercials, photo cards, envelopes, or postcards with offensive images are okay with me. Thanks. Note, for Malaysian addresses, I might send a postcard from another country. I've traveled all the continents except for Antarctica, but I do not think of myself as a well-traveled person, as most of these involve work trips and prolonged stays in hotels with only guided excursions. I love to have more spontaneous travels and going to adventure places in my life. But nowadays, I'm content staying at home with my family and going for a walk in the nearby park during the weekends. I love to read about cultures and history. I also read fiction, but much less historical mysteries, etc. I do not spend much time outside. Boring, I know, but everything I miss from not being outdoors, I make up for imagining worlds via my books. Um, I love Borges and Marquez, so much imagination. I'm proud to say I've visited Argentina and Colombia, the birthplace of my two literary heroes. However, I cannot read Spanish and I can only read them in translation. I'm sure their works are more awesome in, if read in Spanish. I love watching films, especially classics, in no particular order. My favorites are Judgment at Nuremberg, the Grand Illusion in French, Annie Hall, and my kinds of music are the 60s and 70s, American classic rock, Malaysian oldies. I'm not rigid in my tastes. When I'm bored, I just go to Netflix and watch whatever recent films are on there. I think there's no point in being overly pretentious about something you're supposed to relax with. It's a good point. I do not have any special so, uh, have any social media account and prefer to communicate the old-fashioned way via snail mail phone or non-smart ones and simply meeting people over coffee. I strive to lead a low stress life and to spend time with my family as much as possible. Well, I guess he's probably not watching this on YouTube, but who knows? Um, so I chose this card and you might say, well, that's kind of boring. It's an Ikea card. 
I've had it for a while. It's a piece of coral. Um, he says he doesn't like any particular card. This is a card I've had for a while. I wasn't sure who to send it to. Um, but it's got a nice big amount of space on the back that can be used for decorating or for writing a nice story. And that's the connection he wants to have. So that's what I thought I'd choose. The final card that I have is going off to Massachusetts in the United States. So not very far from me. She says she's a mother of two adult girls and a grandmother of four. Her partner is 26, uh, of partner of 26 years has two adult married sons with five grandchildren. So we have lots of school programs, soccer games, guitar recitals, gymnastics meets, etc. And she's lived and worked in Massachusetts her entire life. I enjoy calligraphy and genealogy in her spare time. I'm interested in receiving postcards of all type from different parts of the world. Local culture, historical postcards are especially welcome. Also would enjoy receiving art postcards. Uh, examples, Homer, Durer, Rockwell, Hopper, just not Cubist or ultra modern. Animals of all varieties, beaches, forests, old doors or bridges. My favorite birds are puffins and owls. My maternal family, Parkhurst, has been researched back to the Devonshire and Suffolk, England, and the island of White. So I would love to receive maps or anything connected to those regions. Thanks. Have a great day. Well, she talked about animals and she talked about art. And so this local artist uh, did this one of a moose. And I thought this would be a nice card to send off. And it shows a little bit of local. And that's the one we're going to decorate. That's my last card um, to show you. So let's decorate it and we'll send it off to the state of Massachusetts. We've got our card. The very first thing I like to do is put washi tape on. If you've been watching my channel of recent, you know that I like to do diagonal washi tape. One of the things that has been brought to my attention is that uh, if you put too much washi tape where the stamps are going to go, the washi tape sometimes lifts and so will the stamp, of course. So one of the things that I want to talk about is when I put the washi tape on, I usually try to go from this corner run it across sometimes it's at a much larger angle this time we won't do such an angle but leave enough space that the stamp can go on the main card as well as if it's going to touch the washi tape so if we're going to put another bead of washi tape on this side which i may just do let's uh, find something here got some great washi tapes that's shown up recently but well, let's run a little dark border along the side of the first one we put down. We'll do a floral border like so. Then we just take the scissors and chop it off down the end. And we can tidy up the corners by doing the same. So when we put the stamp, we're going to put it so it overlaps on top of there. And then uh, what else can we put on the other side? Maybe this washi tape. So those of you who have been watching for a while, I noticed that a few cards, some people are trying this diagonal washi tape. I find it's a great way too. You can mix and match colors and um, it does give you so much more space to write your message if you're not doing all your borders and things that way. We are going to put a uh, hedgehog down in the corner, like I always do. And then we are going to uh, put the address on. So I'm going to do that off camera so it doesn't go off into the world. Grab my tape. We can talk while I'm doing that. So just keep a little bit of privacy. And having the... Uh, washi tape underneath gives it a beautiful border behind the address now find the right size thing to cover it up let's see if this will work so here you've got the address uh, the post crossing id is on there as well you can see it overlaps the washi tape and the card itself we are going to put one stamp, because I didn't say anything about loving stamps. I am going to put it right across the top, so it is on the card and on the washi tape. If the washi tape lifts, it's not going to peel the stamp right off at the same time. And then we will add a 
airmail sticker up there as well. We shall add some decorative elements. What kind of decorative elements do we want to add in? Kind of want to go. I'd love to put it here, but I know it would cross over into her address unless let's do the Olia thing. What's the Olia thing? Well, she is great at putting, and she's in postcards. If you watch hers, she puts a stamp or a sticker partly on, partly off, and cuts the excess. So that much of the, the sticker will go in, trim the excess off. Make sure I have it disrupted the front. There we go. So it is gone. If it was something more beautiful, I might add that somewhere else. Um, it's just a dark piece of the sticker, so it's not going to be lost. And then I can do the same thing with this mountain range and sunset here. I think we were going to... Yeah, we'll put it in that corner. I don't see a reason why we can't cover that moose, because there is a moose on the front. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to overlap the sticker. We're going to trim the excess. get a beautiful sticker like that so i am so glad that i watched in postcards and got to discover these techniques then the next thing we need to do of course is uh, put a date on there so today we are june the 23rd now officially in the summer uh, today, the temperature in Moncton is going to be about 24 degrees Celsius. It's a little early, so we're not quite at that just yet. Talking about thunder showers or rain this afternoon, which we desperately need after that heat wave. We do my traditional greeting. Hello. I know tons of people uh, will spell out block letters or use color. There's a variety of things you can do. And I just want to say... Uh, I am in Moncton, Brunswick, not too far away. This is a local artist. Happy to support by sending her cards. And moi at the bottom. The other thing I'm going to put, let's add in YouTube. That dad guy. In case she wants to check it out. So there you go. There's our decorated card, all address stamped and ready to go to Massachusetts, the United States. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll finish up the other postcards I have and then get off to the rest of the day's activities. You guys have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy?